What's up everybody, this is Famous and welcome to another Famous Tutorial. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to add CLR Browser Plugin to your OBS. If you're just like me, it didn't come with it standard, so you're going to have to add it, but good news is that it's actually not that hard, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the instructions. Alright guys, so step one, we're simply going to type in CLR Browser for OBS into Google. The first one that pops up was the one that I used and it worked fairly easy so that's what we're going to use in this example. If you would like a link to the website I will also include it in the description. So simply click on it. What you need to know is that there's going to be two options available and that's going to be a 32-bit or a 64-bit. It does matter which one you download. It just needs to be compatible with the OBS that you've downloaded. In my case it's a 64-bit so all I have to do is click on the red link and then it will start downloading. Alright guys, so step number two. We now downloaded the files, we can open them up in a folder and we need to actually put them into OBS. And how we do it is by going to the OBS plugins. So basically all you have to do is copy the folders and then simply move them over into the plugins and then they will now be in OBS and then the third step I'm going to show you an example of what you can do and how you can check to make sure that it worked. Alright guys so let's go ahead and test it out. The first thing we're gonna do is check our plugins option to make sure that the CLR browser is available. So once you click on plugins you'll notice that CLR host plugin is now available. That means we have successfully installed it. So if you want to try and add something new in and you want to get your CLR browser going you just do right click add. You can either create it as a global source or you can select CLR browser. Once you do that you'll have to name it. We'll just name it this and then you'll have to enter in the URL which I already have copied and once you click OK, it is now in. That's it. It's as simple as that. You can step up your stream game by adding in the CLR browsers, get a GIF in there, a couple other things, add some customization, and you'll be on your way to being a top streamer. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, be sure to slap a like on it and subscribe for more famous tutorials.